Now, studies have shown that this is an important issue in the U.S., and experts say it's the same story here in Canada. For some communities, this stems from the historic mistrust of government and vaccine that's still prevalent today. This distrust that we're seeing of, you know, you know, vaccines and, you know, medical science in general is rooted in a history of um, anti-Black racism. Um, and we know Indigenous groups as well were experimented. Horrific events in history, unethical treatments of Black and Indigenous peoples could be behind the reason why some from these communities may be hesitant to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Because of all of that uh, historical um, context around um, poor practices in medical research and experimentation on Indigenous bodies, and same like we've seen within the United States. A recent survey from the U.S. found that Black Americans were less likely to get the COVID-19 vaccine, even if it was free and determined safe by scientists. Just 17% of Black adults said they definitely get the shot, 20 percentage points lower than both Hispanic and white adults. A lot of what we know is from the United States data, uh, because we know, as we know, Canada is not really known for collecting racial and ethnic based data on a lot of these health indicators. Experts have said this hesitancy is rooted in medical mistrust. Case in point, the Tuskegee syphilis experiment, a 40 year U.S. study that never informed hundreds of African American participants that they were test subjects and they didn't get treated for the disease despite there being a treatment. A black coalition of U.S. doctors and nurses started this COVID-19 movement. Dear Black America, targeting African-Americans, one of the groups most disproportionately impacted by COVID-19 in the U.S. Part of the conversations, vaccine safety. We also ask you to join us in participating in clinical trials and taking a vaccine once it's proven safe and effective. Experts north of the border say Canada has to do the same. Our country already falls behind the U.S. because it doesn't collect race-based data to help understand the healthcare experiences of different Canadians. How else do you properly document the severity of impact on any individual um, race or community of people um, to be able to demonstrate why we need to have um, equity responses? <laughs> But during a public health crisis, Gordon Thane says it's even more vital that government and public health leaders find a way to address concerns. We have to do a better job of assuring them uh, that, you know, the vaccine was developed in an ethical way this time. It doesn't overwrite all the wrongs that were done in, in history, but this time um, steps were taken to ensure that uh, the vaccine was developed. A one-size-fits approach for communities who have a history of mistrust won't do, say experts, but addressing the root causes and engaging trusted leaders to help answer questions about the vaccine will help to build confidence. I think what's going to be really important, though, is to have, you know, Indigenous leaders, um, respected Indigenous physicians um, or frontline health professionals like nurses, um, researchers, speaking to our communities about what we know of the vaccine.